Good morning. Today is Friday, April 17th. Welcome to this week's edition of the Launchpad. I'm Addie Hedges. To get us started this week, we'll go to Ashland for current events. Thanks, Addie. Coronavirus cases worldwide has now surpassed 2 million. New York currently leads the United States with over 200,000 cases. They have had to resort to mass graves to bury unclaimed bodies. In Ohio, there are now 8,239 confirmed cases and 273 fatalities. Governor Mike DeWine has said, although it will be a while before life resumes to normal, he plans on reopening businesses slowly starting May 1st. Now over to Abby for Launchpad PSA. Thanks, Ashlyn. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this week's PSA. This week's PSA is on hygiene. Now, I'm pretty sure that your family does not want to smell you from the other end of the house. So, I would like to make sure that you guys are all showering appropriately with soap, not just water, and brushing your teeth twice a day. Just because we are in quarantine does not mean that all of our hygiene practices are to go out the window. This is the Launchpad PSA, the more you know. Welcome to the absolute best hair tutorial you've ever seen in your whole life. Today, I'll be giving this very strange man a mullet. He just doesn't know it yet. You want to follow my steps exactly to reach the full goal. First thing, you will take your beard trimmer that's not meant for cutting hair and accidentally turn it to the shortest possible length ever. Why does your face look like that? Like what? You're making a weird face. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> As you just watched, my father looks depressed throughout this whole video and he is clearly worried about how amazing I am at cutting hair. In a few short seconds, you'll see how I did on the first side. You may want to pause it if you want exactly what I did. I'm filming. How's it look? <laughs> you can clearly see that I did not do the best job on this side. However, on this side, I did fantastic. There's a zigzag style and it's really cool. Be sure to follow the steps exactly. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Hannah. Unfortunately, I'm back with some sorta of bad news, and by sorta, I mean that today is the only bad day in this weekend's forecast. Today's forecast calls for a high of 52 degrees with a 100% chance of rain. Saturday is back to clear skies with a high of 52 degrees with only a 10% chance of rain. Sunday will be the warmest day this week with a high of 57 degrees, but it will be cloudy with a 20% chance of rain. So if you ask me, as soon as Friday's showers pass over, this weekend's going to be a perfect weekend to get outside and enjoy some fresh air. Hey all you cool cats and kittens, this is Mrs. Hackett doing a quick little science experiment with my daughter Allie. Um, we chose an egg experiment being so close to Easter, um, and we're going to demonstrate the law of inertia. Do you guys remember the law of inertia is a tendency of an object to resist any change in its motion? So it's like when you um, put a seatbelt on, slam the brakes, the seatbelt stops you from flying through the windshield. Okay, so inertia is the tendency of an object to resist any change in its motion. We have a raw egg and a hard-boiled egg here, labeled A and B. We have not decided which one's which yet. And I have done this experiment before, but I figured some of you probably have forgotten about it. Um, so what Allie's going to do, she's going to spin each egg. She's going to briefly put her finger on top to stop it and let up her finger. Whichever egg continues to spin is going to be the raw egg. The raw egg. Okay, because remember, raw egg is liquid. Liquid has more motion than solids do, and they're going to keep that motion when they are stopped. Okay, so Allie, why don't you go ahead and spin each egg? So we're going to do A first. Hold on, one second. Hold on. Okay. Does that look like it still spun a little bit? Yeah, it still spun a little bit, so it may be. Okay. Okay, and then B. Alex, hold on! Okay, now does that... That looks like it is the hard boiler, because with this one it kept spinning, this one it just stopped for a second. Okay, so Allie thinks the A is the raw egg. Now, Allie, let's prove it. I said on top of my head. Okay. Is it raw? Yeah. Science is fun. Thanks, Hackett. Now I'll be reading an excerpt from one of Jack Kerouac's many novels. The only people for me are the mad ones. The ones who are mad to live, mad to talk, mad to be saved. Desirous of everything at once. The ones who never yawn or say commonplace things. But burn, burn, burn. 
like yellow Roman candles exploding like spiders across the stars. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week.